You could say that this week's programme has been about five years in the making, with most of the specific work being over the last 12 to 18 months. It is the culmination of my time with Airguns, YouTube and the Airgun community. Q montage. And welcome to AAR On Air. Today is going to be more than just a gun review, and the conclusion it's going to be up front rather than at the end. Why? Because I have spent the last 18 months making this whole thing happen, and I think it's amazing. For those out there who want some form of disclaimer up front, then here it is. This has been at my personal expense wholly. Sweat, tears, time, money, care, and above all, an awful lot of love. I really wanted to add something to the Aegon community and have it available to those who will be genuinely interested in owning something very special. This is a one-off and has been put together with everything I would want from a rifle package. As many of you will know, I am somewhat of a patriot, and I like to support our companies where possible, but only if they're any good. I own and have used and worked closely with the fantastic team of guys at BSA, and love the latest CLX-based rifles. So, a plan was hatched to create a one-time only limited edition rifle, but it had to be so much more than just another BSA rifle. It had to be different in so many ways, and not just another kit that can be put together by anyone. The starting point was a firm favourite of mine, the amazing compact CLX Ultra, which is light, compact, accurate, so easy to shoot with that excellent adjustable two-stage trigger, probably one of my all-time favourite triggers. I also wanted to keep what I see as the purity of the super smooth bolt action rather than a side lever. I love a bolt action rifle. A lot of time and quite a few meetings were held with the top brass both at BSA in Birmingham and even at the AAR house. They were tremendously helpful to give me just what I wanted to achieve. We visited the factory to see how everything would be built and of course to see the amazing coal hammer forge barrel process. This was going to give it its accuracy. The process is truly amazing. The team of guys involved possess skills that only come with years of experience in their particular field. The passion that is in the whole team at BSA needs to be seen to truly understand it. Then it was time to consider the stock options. Again, it had to be different and not available on anything else if possible. So, I could really only think of one place to go. Time to get Manelli involved and get them to provide a laminate that was both new and different but also classy. I wanted it to have the AAR Shield logo embossed in the stock to make sure it was obvious this was special and different. At this point, the naysayers who are going to be accusing me of narcissistic tendencies, well, you can take a hike. I want this to be special and an awful lot of work has gone into it. The end result is this green laminate and to my mind it is beautiful. Like all laminates, each one benefits from being slightly different, individual and personal. 
This is one of those laminates that looks different in different lighting with greens and greys and much more. Not only that, but it is new. Not only new to Manelli, but the colour has a modern twist, being slightly more bold, and hopefully will be making an entrance into the airgun scene. Getting this right was a time-consuming job, but it had to be right. Second best just wasn't going to cut it as far as I was concerned. This was just the start of what I really wanted to achieve. I wanted it to stand out, but not so bold it was too, shall we say, in your face, so to speak. I wanted it to be at home in all environments, down the range, out in the field, in the back garden, or even just something to keep nice and safe and use on high days and holidays. And everyone who has seen this in the flesh has loved it. Oh, and it isn't going to appear next week on some other airgun. It is exclusive. The next thing was the scope. I wanted it to be one of my personal favourites. Not too big that it looks ridiculous, and not too small either. And enough magnification to do most all of the jobs this could be called upon to do. So, it is based on the Vector Optics Veyron, but with the new illuminated reticle on board. I wanted it to be my personal favourite, so it is the 6 to 24 by 44 amazingly clear version. Meaning, if you want lesser magnification, then you just simply turn it down. But that wasn't enough. This is, after all, a limited edition rifle. So I wanted the scopes to be purpose made and also a limited edition and in limited numbers. And they won't be repeated. This took some time, but with help from Vector Air and Vector Optics, I got exactly what I wanted, complete with flip ups, honeycomb sunshade, then the scope mounts. These are really high-grade triples and are fully adjustable. Next up was going to be the silencer, and to my mind, needed to be more than just a tool to reduce the sound. It needed to complement what we were already achieving at AAR On Air. So my first and really only thought was Andrew Huggett. Could I possibly convince him to, to become involved in what has become my baby? Why, Andrew? Well, not only does he make very good silencers, but he makes them a thing of beauty. So the phone call was made to find out if he was prepared to make a bespoke item. The request was put in to get him to make the silencers for this setup. And to my great relief, he was up for the challenge. And after a lot of head scratching and patience, care and time, he came up with the goods, making the superb limited edition AAR shield silencers, just the right length to complement the CLX barrel and to ensure it will fit in the ultra-high-quality Negrini hard case. After lots of prototypes and small changes, I am really pleased with the end result. Now, Carl at Vector Air said he thought the shield should be at the other end. Well, these are interchangeable, so you can choose which end you prefer. And if that isn't flexible enough, then BSA stepped up with a shrouded version of their silencer. And we decided we wanted both. So you could have the ultimate and maximum choice. The shroud can easily be removed by unscrewing from the base of the barrel. Ideally, leaving the shroud thread and grub screw fitting in place, then screw the hugget on the revealed half inch thread. Now I was on a roll at this point, and Mrs. A. I could see that I had that look that it wasn't done yet. 
It was onto the hard case to put this in, but I wanted a quality case, not one that flexes and wobbles all over the place. This is a lovingly created gun package, and I wanted to be sure it stayed in pristine condition. Now, it goes without saying, it will come with pellets and a few targets included. But I also realise that some of these will never see anything other than the underside of the bed where they will be kept because they are limited. But the problem here is no one will know you have one. And I know some people will want others to know they've got one. So what about something you could have out so people can see you're involved in something very special? So I had Luke from Vectorair, the tech super geek, do the artwork for the limited edition mug to go with it. Now, please don't think these will be supplied to anyone who just wants the mug. It's not going to happen. They are only for the people buying the AAR package and will be included with them. At this point, I should point out, there will only ever be 200 of these available. Ever. Period. And in real terms, it will be fewer than that. Because, number one, which is this one, will be under my bed from day one. The split will be between 177 calibre and 22 calibre, all in sub 12 foot pounds, no FAC versions. Each one will also have a certificate of authenticity signed by yours truly and the head of BSA. Yes, we sat down and individually, personally signed each one. Each gun has its own individual number of the 200 limited edition and even the serial numbers are AAR specific. It is probably worth mentioning that exporting these outside the UK is fraught with all kinds of legal issues and so the decision has been made to make them available in the UK only and I would like to apologise to our cousins across the pond. Early doors, we did experiment with an orange mod, which included adding regulators to the CLX, and the results were good. But the increase in cost and time was simply too high, so this was rejected. The standard gun is excellent, and the feet per second spread is very low. The only real gain was to add about 15 shots per fill-up more and we didn't think it was worth it. Now, it wouldn't be a review if I didn't do some target work for you. So, here we go. Out at 40 meters with my baby in the full AAR setup. Wow. Well, I didn't really think I'd be saying this, but the AAR limited edition rifle fabulous it makes you so proud this is a beautiful thing i i love it every inch of it there's so much of me that's gone into it this does come with the slightly upgraded magazine on them now and the probe is slightly different it is a beautiful thing to to look at in all different lights different colors come out of it all the time we're going to have a go uh, just looked on the BBC website, it's 40 mile an hour gusts. So we're going to try and get it in between the gusts. I've zeroed it something like. We'll give it a go. It's probably really unfair, but let's, let's see. I've got a lot of confidence in these. I love these triggers.
I've just got one big hole now, so. Yeah, it's kind of defeating the object. <laughs> it's going through the same hole. Fortunately, we've just had a bit of a gap in the wits coming again, so I had a bit of a gap there. But these are so accurate. I've seen how they make those barrels. It's unbelievable, it's witchcraft, but it's fantastic. I love the gun. I'm really, really hoping that people who have it will love it as well. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. It's accurate, of course it's gonna be accurate. It's the BSA Cold Hammer Forge barrel, and I've seen them made, and uh, I love it, yeah. Back to the studio. I'll just put another one in there. <laughs> Every time. Nice one. I don't think anyone is going to argue with that. The price of this hugely complete limited edition rifle package is £1,135 UK. Now it's up to the individual to decide if that is too high or too low, but everything has been done to make this exclusive and good value with very low margins on this. I realise not everyone can afford it, but to put all this quality together in one place hasn't been easy or cheap. I feel we've put something very special together and it has become like a child of mine and so much love and care has gone in by all involved without whom this could never have happened. It will only be available from Vector Air. It's worth mentioning that does include Vector Air at the British Shooting Show at the NEC in February, if there are any left. It's also worth mentioning they will deliver or arrange an RFD transfer if you can't collect from them. My advice, following my experience, is if you think you may want one, don't hang around they will go and like i've already said with all the time and work that has gone into making this happen it's not going to happen again <laughs> it's been an awful lot of work this has been a very different review not just a gun review but a bit of an insight and look at what it takes to get something like this off the ground Hopefully you've enjoyed this alternative programme. If you have, please give us the old thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, share and of course click the old alarm bell. There is the AAR website with more information and of course the merchandise. A truly massive thank you goes to everyone involved over this long period of time in making this happen. Vector Optics, BSA. Huggett, Minelli, Vector Air, and of course, my absolute rock, Mrs. AAR, for putting up with my demands around getting just what I wanted this to be. That's it. I could do with a few weeks off after all this, but that's not going to happen. We've got the British Shooting Show to go to next, and we're really looking forward to that, and hopefully seeing quite a few of you guys there as well. Thanks for watching, stay safe and shoot safe, and hopefully I'll see you all next week. Bye for now.